we will start we have no 15 participants others will join later so next slide so i am dr vishnu um, i cleared my fnb entrance exam in 2011 in my second attempt did fnb spine surgery fellowship from ganga hospitals between 2011 to 2013 after completing my fellowship, I joined as a consultant spine surgeon at SKS Hospital Salem. I am still working there, still working there for the last seven years. Now we have started our own uh, FNB spine surgery fellowship program at SKS Hospital uh, under NAT board accreditation, and we have uh, two fellows at present. So we thought that. So when I finished my MS Auto, I was thinking that MS Auto is a uh, uh, in specialty. There is no need for any further studies and all those things. But later, it was a hard reality that there are a lot of MS of those in the cities and towns. And we have to specialize ourselves in some speciality to stand out. So then I, uh, I have to learn myself where to apply, how to apply, how to read and all those things. And I thought that we will start a career guidance program for the postgraduates so that it will, it will help you out. So when you complete your MS author, you have some idea how to approach, how to apply, and how to apply for the entrance exam. So when you come to the years of ortho training in English-speaking countries, so the minimum age at which you can enter orthopedic training program is 27 years. Okay. And the shortest time from graduation to completion of training in orthopedics is minimum of seven years. In Australia, Canada, US, and UK, it's almost 11 years. There's so much of training going on in orthopedics. But here in India, we have only three years of training. And just after passing MS Orthopedics, we became assistant professors or we became a consultant. We, we call ourselves as a consultant orthopedic surgeon. But I think at the end of three years of training in India, we, can, you, we all can manage basic trauma surgeries. We can manage patients coming to the casualty and all type of conservative management you can manage. But uh, we need further training to fine tune our uh, skills in complex trauma surgeries and in specialty surgeries. 